There's a new partner in crime in school. <gasps> Are you entertained? Have us reached the marks in the entertainment career? So it's your goal. Let's go ahead and blow out the candles for the next step in our air of the Not So Berry Challenge. Hey, my little peaches. Welcome back to another episode of our Not So Berry Challenge. And okay, I am kind of excited because this is the new update to the game, which adds likes and dislikes. So for the first time ever in Sims 4, I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna be able to set them likes and dislikes which is really freaking cool and would have been so useful for not so berry because of course it is all based around color but it's fine we'll do it for generations going forward although i do feel sad for all sims all sims that i've ever had over time that didn't get that likes and dislikes particularly the old favorites i'm sorry April. so i'm gonna start with molly i mean will they get them naturally if i don't assign them how does it work because, like, for some sims, I'm kind of interested to know what they gravitate to on their own. Rather than, like, me setting them. But I don't know if it works like that. Oh, so they will develop them themselves. Okay. So, what I think I will do is for sims that we know have specific ones. Like, I know that Lila's favorite color, for example, is going to be purple. So, I can do this. And I know that Clem's favorite color is going to be orange. So, that's pretty easy. And any that I know that they've got. Like, we know that Molly's activity that she really likes is she does like gardening and uh, we know that she likes baking and painting so i can add like a few little bits like that but for a lot of things i kind of like the idea of them like generating themselves over time particularly when it comes to like decor and stuff so clem i know there's a few things a few activities that clem likes such as mischief and we know that Lila likes dancing, guitar, piano, and singing. But one thing that I was finding with this, like, generation is with Kami and Tyler, we know they're both very brainy. They've gone through a bit of a tough time at school because they've been picked on for being, like, really good students a little bit. But we weren't really getting that much else from their personalities. So I'm really glad that it's added likes and dislikes. So that, like, over time, we will just be able to see them, like, generate their own, like, individuality and their own things that they like and don't like. So... Hopefully a few of those will generate in today's episode. So a big part of the likes and dislikes is for the decor, which is for the new park. The dream heart, no, dream deck, no. Oh man. Why do I always do this with the parks? Wait, I have the park, so I can just see what the name for it is. Dream home decorator. Dream house energy, love that about it. So I do have this pack. What I'm thinking for this one is because it takes me like so long to decorate anything. <laughs> because it's just the way I am. I think what I'll do is I will make this more of like a Twitch series instead of like a main channel series. But this is all of the new stuff that comes with it. It looks really cool. I like that it's modular. Obviously for this house, one, it's already fully decorated and two, it's very tiny. So I don't think we're gonna be able to experiment with any of this stuff for this series in particular. But there is so much new stuff. Like literally, you know what I will do? I will replace the bunk bed because honestly, I kind of hate that ugly bunk bed. And instead, we've got really cool bunk beds. Like, look at this one with the desk already under it. And the desk is also separate. Love that. This is for the twins. So we will go for a... Where is the new... Oh, what is that one too? <gasps> and the desk to the side. That's very cool. However, I want this cool bed, but with the desk under it. If you can't give me this game, I swear. I swear I will riot. I will riot. Can I just put the bed under it? Because look how freaking cute this is. Like, what? Does this one go under it? Oh, okay. I think this one here goes under it. So I will replace the twins bed because I do really, really like this. So we can do Tyler's underneath here. And then we've got Cammy's on top. Their scouts thing's kind of taking up a bunch of space in their room. I might have their like scouts activities outside instead. And I will try adding some of the other new stuff. Like there's a new desk that I really want to try. Like the desks are so nice. Honestly, the stuff from this pack is really nice. I do like this pack. I'm excited to give the career a go. I'm a little bit worried that I will like create something beautiful, but the Sims will be like looking for really specific parameters and they'll be like, no, I hate it. Specialized designer desk, oh my gosh. And then the problem with the Not So Berry Challenge is because everything is like predefined from older like packs or like even zero packs. I won't be able to give any of this cool new like career stuff a go in this series. So yeah, I think what I'll do is I will stream this. Oh, that's a table. And then I can spend like hours like lovingly 
decorating everything, which is kind of what I like to do anyway, so. So I've given them just these little storage spaces as well, like to put their clothes in, because I thought that was kind of cute. And I am now getting quite into checking everything from the kit. Oh, oh my gosh, she has little storage boxes. <gasps> and they sit on top. Okay, I actually low-key love that. I always had these like little, um, oh, does that not sit on that side? Oh, you can only put one on. I always had these on top of my like wardrobes at home, so I'm kind of digging that. That's so cute. I love it. And then the other thing as well is there's this play tent, which I feel like, you know, they're kind of older kids now. They're almost like uh, that teen age, but that doesn't mean I can't get them a little cute tent just for now. So there we go. Let's get them a little cute tent for the garden. I wish it was piratey. I mean, this is like maybe a little bit too uh, too young for them, but it's fine. I just want to try it out. But I wish, yeah, I wish it was more piratey for Clem, but it's still super cute. If the pack had come out a bit sooner, I think I would have like potentially put Molly into this career because it would have been fun to give it a go through her. But maybe if in the future someone's career isn't defined in the rules, then I can give it a go for them instead. There's also a bunch of new stuff in Cass. I mean, if we do age them up today, I will show you guys that. But as you guys know, I don't really rely too heavily on the in-game Cass items because I tend to use like modded content for my like alpha looking sims so that they can look like this. I mean, the new stuff does look cute, but it's not going to compare to this little private school outfit. And this awesome hair with the little like clips on there and stuff. It's just not, it's just not. So in the last episode, we met new Parijit, new member of the Parijits, Keenan here. You guys did make the point that his name is Keenan Fires. Like he's keen on fires. Future arsonist. Yes, I love that. The name dictates that it must happen. So these guys are out here having like a little stargaze at the moment. They started off hating each other. And then was it Molly that was like, Molly or Lila? One of them was like, you know what? You, you've you been caught bullying at school. They were actually bullying each other. But she's like, I've had enough of this. Whoever your last victim was, invite them home now. And I'm going to make you apologize to them. So she was forced to apologize whilst in bear outfit. For a while, Molly was also wearing the bear outfit, which was really cute. I don't know how long the bear face is gonna go on foot. You guys also reminded me that Phoenix was a bear and I totally forgot about that, so thank you. But yeah, we do have Keenan now in the Paregits. He definitely has a much more feisty spirit. If, if Clem currently is kind of like mischievous but not evil and Zack is baby angel, then Keen on Fires is on the other shoulder. A little angel on one shoulder and a little demon on the other. And it's which one she's going to be swayed the most by. Since uh, these guys have just become friends and since I have to give her the evil tray, I'm kind of feeling like we're a little bit more swayed by Keen on Fires. Not to say her whole personality is going to be dictated by some boy she met at school, but more the path she was already starting to tread. She's now walking a little bit faster because of somebody new she's met in her life. Because the people we meet in our lives do have a big impact on us, so. The other thing you guys noticed is that Zach is sometimes caught kind of like thinking about Kami. So I think while Zach was like totally enamored with, or like child crush initially on Clem, maybe now that Clem started to get a little bit scary and a little bit more naughty, Instead, he's a little bit more like drawn to like her sis her sweeter sister Kami instead. So I really like that. I like that you guys thought about that as well. I know a lot of you guys do ship Clem and Zach. I'm not saying it can't happen one day. I honestly don't know where her life's gonna go. I'm kind of just taking it like as day by day as it comes. Cause that's one thing I really like about this series. I have rough guidelines, but then I steer it a little bit and the game steers it a little bit as well. So we shall see. We shall see where they they all end up. And Ty babes, get into bed. You've got school tomorrow. What are you embarrassed for? Oh, because you have to what? He came through the garden this way and his mom was in the bath, Lila, and then he got really embarrassed. So the kids are, are in their lives. <gasps> oh no, I need to update. I think it's UI cheats that's doing this. Oh my gosh, look how hilarious that looks. Oh jeez. I won't be able to tell when their bars start glowing. But yeah, we've got four days until we age up. Probably once they start the next day, it's gonna be three days. So I think we will see some teenagers in today's episode. And I really hope that they get some likes and dislikes before that happens. I'm now realizing that I can't, oh, their likes and dislikes are probably here, right? But since I've not run UI cheats, I can't see them. Time for my second restart of the day. The first one was because I didn't have updated wonderful whims. Now I need to update UI cheats. Oh my gosh. <gasps> and I've just got back. And I think Clem is gonna wake up and immediately have bladder failure. Oh no. 
I'll try and make it to the toilet. Do you understand that? What are you doing, Clem? You eat it while you wet yourself. I am gonna go ahead and check out. Okay, here we go. Now I can see the likes and dislikes. I can also enter cast immediately from here, which is very cool. Oh, you can't go to the toilet because you're getting beat by Kami. Oh no, it's a pirate is gonna wake up and wet themselves. Yeah, I'm really hoping these guys develop their own soon. The other thing you guys suggested, which I love, is that I think you guys said I can set like a dress code. For the Paregits? Yeah, modify club outfits. Oh my gosh. Is there, um, oh, can I not set my own style? Custom. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. I love that this is a thing. Thank you guys so much for telling me because I will have a little, um, I downloaded a CC Pirate Heart as well. You guys might have seen it in the thumbnail. Ooh, that's not the one I download. Well, I did download that one as well, but I was looking for like the the other one but you know what this one's even cooler because i think once they become teenagers they're probably not gonna want to like dress oh here it is there we go they're probably not gonna want to dress like as piratey anymore i don't know like they'll probably turn on to being like a little bit more i don't know like young thugs but for now at least we'll keep with the pirate one so that's the male dress and then for the female dress i'm gonna go for the more like fun hat because clem will be wearing it so we are currently the only female parisia oh and there we go we've gone oh geez very sad we're still mourning the loss in the family and oh we had a dream that a bad meanie stole our toys. Maybe that's why she's woke up and had bladder failure. The irony is, I feel like you're the meanie. I feel like in this situation, it would be you that stole somebody else's toys, but that's what we've had a nightmare about. And yeah, the fact that every day people are embarrassed because they use the toilet and then these guys wake up and walk through the bathroom. It's very awkward. Design flaw, yeah. But it's fine, don't worry about it. You guys had a really cool idea that maybe when they become teenagers and maybe Kami and Ty want their own rooms, then Clem can be like, ooh, <gasps> left, right, up, down, jump, jump, jump. Who likes that stuff anyway? Try she may, Kami just cannot get into gaming. Should Kami affect her gameless existence and finally comes to terms with the fact that she dislikes video gaming? <gasps> I've had my first natural like or dislike. Yes. Yes, you've uninstalled that from your brain. There we go. So she's actually got her first one. I like it as well because I feel like it fits her personality. She's very academic. So I'm not saying you can't be academic unlike gaming because <laughs> hi. But, you know, you can also be very academic and like shun stuff that you don't think is like a academic hobby. So she's not into gaming. I like that. Sorry. So what I was saying is, yeah, Kami is like, well, Kami can have my own room if I can move into the treehouse. And I feel like Lila and Molly will be like, no, you can't move into the dream, uh, to the dream house. You can't move into the tree house! And she's like, I'm already dragging my bed up. I don't know how you'd get a bed up there, but okay, whatever. Oh, and apparently it's non-uniform day at school today. You do have them. So everyone's heading off into school. Did you manage to shower after you did? You at least got a shower after wetting yourself. So that's great. You guys also said that if I get to a D, if I get to grade, sorry, to grade F, then Clem will get taken away by the social workers. However, we're on grade C currently. I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue. So as usual, I'm going to get these guys to listen to teacher. And I'm gonna get Clem to... I wanted to do a prank ready for school, but instead I've got her to sleep in class just to get that final bit of energy up. I'm gonna invite the Paregits around again this evening with our new dress. And also I feel like with Keen on Fire, we, I'm fully just calling him Keen on Fire going forward, by the way. We can actually do a bit more of a big kid prank. So before with Zach, we tried to do the cups everywhere and they failed because Zach probably was like fumbling and like nervous to do it and like, I don't want to do this. Whereas Keenan is going to be like, let's sell test papers. We'll make some money from it. It'll be, it'll be great. And Clem is like, my man. So yeah, we're going to try and do that. I don't know whether it will fail or not, but we'll give it a go. Lila is autonomously singing songs. I feel like she would have done this anyway, but I guess now that it's part of her likes and dislikes, then it totally makes sense. She also never developed the third lifestyle, by the way. I kind of left that to see if it would just do it on its own, but it didn't really. Also, did you guys notice that Molly has the nurturer? personality which is probably why she was more than happy to dress up as a bear with Clem and why she's trying really hard with Clem to try and make sure she doesn't go down like 
a bad path. And also is cleaning up her pee this morning. What? And oh, Druid free time. Tyler drew an inappropriate piece of artwork and showed it to classmates. It caused a lot of giggling. Oh my gosh, you're sending this to Molly, who's a painter. She is definitely going to be like, we encourage creativity, you know? The female body is beautiful. There's no inappropriate part of the female body. And literally within a second, he's back into good manners because he's just a good kid. And Cammy's still getting in trouble at school. The principal's visiting and somebody's kicking her chair. No, somebody's throwing things at her. Why doesn't she ask the kid to stop it? <gasps> the teacher, I hate this zero tolerance nonsense. The teacher sent them both out into the hallway. Poor Kami, she's gonna be so sad about that. She's actually furious about that. She got sent into the hallway for doing nothing wrong. The injustice! Okay, I'm gonna get these guys to keep working away. We've got songs to write, we've got art to sell, because we wanna try and do as much as possible before they die. Kind of sounds harsh, but we need to try, try and leave our children as much as possible. Somebody else has wrote, you are cute. She thinks this might be the new boy. Is this keen on fires again? I'm gonna go confront him. And yeah, he said it is him again. I can't tell if this is still keen on fires or not, but kind of feel like he's been quite obvious in his crush instead of adorable and subtle like Zach was. And Tyler's reached mental level A. Tyler, you little brain box. And fitness level four. I really wanted him to join the swim team for the Kawaii Stacy mod, but I couldn't get it working. Lila has just finished a new song. I'm gonna call it Avoca Avocado Bear. Avocado Bear. I wish you were an orange bear, but oh well. And Clem's manners are in the range to earn the bad manners trait. Perfect. And these two are both still feeling very sad about the Brenton situation. But I like that now that we've got this little outdoor space, it's different to where we originally planned it in the house. But it's still kind of nice that they can be creative together, which I think is really cute. I don't know how long they've both got left. They are both elders, but their bar's still kind of low, so we should be fine. One thing I know for sure, though, is they probably aren't going to outlive Ash. Because Ash completed the bodybuilder aspiration, which gives your sim long life. So it's kind of always worth doing. <gasps> And Celia is here! Celia, hello babes! I'm gonna break off and check in on Celia. Celia who's now all married and stuff. We gotta we gotta find out all about you. Oh, and Celia who's Saj as well because of Brenton, of course. Gonna give her condolences and then check in on her. Because of course, Celia and Brenton were twins. The realism that Celia's lived longer. This is a bit of a strange thing in the game, but when you're pregnant, you don't age. I don't get why. I don't get why, it's kind of silly. I guess it's so that you don't become an elder and then the baby's just gone. But it means that she's outlived her brother. But I love that it always felt like, you know, these guys, they're half siblings and obviously Lila wasn't their twin, but she always felt like part of the little group, which I love. Especially she got older because Celia included her so much. What a sweet baby. I also want to know all about this new husband. Hello, why have you told me nothing about him? I want to invite him round. Who is Sheldon? Oh, this is your new husband. Oh, and that's your new child. Oh my gosh, invite them over. Oh, and Ty's here as well. Okay, so this is Marcel and this is Sheldon. Let's nip into cast. Oh wow, we live with like a big whole gun. <laughs> I love that. So Marcel is listed as her son and Sheldon as her husband, but for Sheldon, Marcel is listed as a household member. So Marcel is obviously her son with somebody else, but she's found love with uh, Sheldon here, who is actually an adult, he's not an elder. I'm glad she finally found love. Like if anyone deserved it, it was Celia, you know? So I've just gone ahead and alphaed him up a little bit. I'm actually gonna investigate some of these new clothes that came with the park and probably give him some of the new clothes. I'm kind of feeling this little number here. I like that. There you go. It looks so cozy. And then there's like some new trousers. Yeah. Okay, have those, I guess. I saw already that somebody had like, somebody had gone in and fixed a bunch of the clothes and made them like so much better. And yeah, it makes me realize that some of the stuff that comes with these packs is like, I don't know, the fashion just a little bit old fashioned, maybe? Oh, her kid's so cute. Look at little Marcel, what? I know that all toddlers in this game are adorable, but that is a cute kid. That is a cute kid. He's got the silly trait. Did it come with any new kid stuff? I guess it's more of, a oh, it did. <laughs> It actually did have some new stuff for kids. I thought because it was like a bit more of a grown up, like house designer, it wouldn't come with any kid stuff, but it actually has. Okay, we got a t shirt. It's just a t shirt. Okay, so there we go. There is a little Marcel. Honestly, Celia is populated far and wide. You, you've got to hand it to her. Wait, where did they just go? The whole point of CCing them up is so that I could meet them and I've lost them. I've somehow lost them. Okay, here we go. Here is. Oh, I've got to go to work, Molly. It's on you, babes. I know you're feeling sad. But yeah, I've. 
I've lost a whole toddler. Where is the toddler? This is kind of good. Like, where did we go? We're right next to a big pond. So you can understand my concern when we just lose a whole child. Yeah, I have no idea where this child has gone. Clem wants to invite over Zach. Okay, that's perfect because we're actually going to go ahead and start a Paregit's gathering. Let's get this show on the road, please. Can you please turn into your Paregit's gear? There you go. Oh, you're going to be annoyed because you're not a bear. But hey, you are a pirate and you make a very cool looking pirate. Ooh, Tyler's not happy about the Paregit's. But Kami is super angry about school. I feel like she's going to go vent to her mom about what went on at school. Because it was super unfair. It was super unfair. And Zach has arrived looking honestly so sad about being a pirate. Okay, he is doing a very, very cute little face right now. Okay, we get it. You're mischievous. Oh, okay, no. He's like, yeah, that was awful. I hated any minute, every minute of that. I want to know what happens when you play in the tent. Oh my gosh, the child has returned. Oh my gosh. Oh, so you can play. Okay, let's do a little pirate play. Oh, you can't play with two kids at the same time. No. And Clem is now a D student. Amazing, amazing. Oh my gosh. And look at this. Ty is so brainy that he can now dominate homework. Wow. You both can. You look brain boxes oh my gosh i love that and okay here is what it looks like when we play pirate inside of our little tent it's kind of like make-believe they're not really playing together but they're playing in the tent okay okay so this is what i wanted to do i wanted you guys to become partners in crime together so we can start doing some more growed up kind of pranks so since those guys are playing in the tent together i'm gonna have kami be like have a little chit chat with zach be like do you actually want to be in the parijits you like oh and he's gonna keep doing mischievous actions because it's like the group thing but she doesn't like but she's gonna like try and have a little chit chat with him because he is feeling very sad and she's also like intimidated by being near an infamous club oh and she just mastered the mental skill why is there a ghost in my house why is there a ghost in my house right now? Okay, so Zaka said, I'm all right, Kami. Thank you. I'm just dealing with some things. Thank you for checking on me. He needs to stop trolling. Stop with the trolling. But like, he won't leave the Paregits. Oh, Tyler's level 10 as well. Because he's like, um, obviously he is quite in awe of Clem. And him and Clem have a good friendship. Where is he? Yeah, they're like 100, 100. So she won't be able to convince him to leave them, but she's gonna try and have a little bit of a chit chat with him and be like, I don't feel like this is what you like to do. And have the two of them kind of get a little bit closer. Her trying to talk him out of always being mean to people because one, he's really bad at it. And two, it seems to make him very unhappy. Meanwhile, there's a new partner in crime in school. Oh, Keen on Fire has dyed his hair blonde, by the way. These guys are now partners in crime. So, oh my gosh, Molly just put in like 10, mouse traps in that hole to try and catch that mouse but yeah we're gonna try a prank so this one that failed with zach was kind of like a you know a gentle prank let's go for a bit more of an extreme prank like selling test dances <gasps> are you entertained have a sim reach the max in the entertainment career <gasps> you just got promoted at work look at your new outfit what Concert virtuoso. A 5,000 pound bonus and a rock legend signed guitar. What? Oh my gosh. Such Sam would be so impressed. Literally, Saj Sam would be so impressed with you right now. Look at her awesome new guitar with the signature. Yes, Lila. Well done. Oh my gosh. Meanwhile, the full Paregents are in form here. It's 9.30 though, kids. <laughs> Bedtimes. So the kids have gone off to school again. I was just checking out their character values. I mean, they're pretty bad. They are all pretty bad. Everything's pretty tragic apart from conflict resolution. And no, the prank failed. What? I'm going to get Kami to take some deep breaths before her test. But no students can be convinced that the test answers were real. Left with an empty stack of papers, Clem hide tried to hide the prank, but got caught by a teacher and given extra homework as a punishment. No! And little Kami's taking deep, deep breaths before her test. The classmates are looking at her funny. But she knows that when you're an A student, you've got to take every test seriously. And it worked because she's now acquired the logic skill. Oh, and by the way... I've been growing. Well, Molly's been growing. You know, we like to grow a flower for every gen or fruit for every gen. Well, for Clem, I should really have grown Clementines, but I picked something else that was orange, which is a peach. So we grew peaches. I think that's a mod. I don't think you can just grow those normally. But yeah, I grew a peach tree for her. So there we go. Well done, Molly. And okay. <laughs> Clem has announced that she would like to be ninja when she grows up. We've out the pirate phrase, apparently. 
We're into the ninja phase. What do I need to do to start being a ninja? Find yourself a ninja to train you. You need yourself a sensei. Start practicing your hiding, okay, Clem? And I like the idea that we told Clem, get good at hiding, and she took that personally, and somehow, through great strength, managed to move her whole pirate ship into the treehouse, and she's like, this is my new domain now. You told me to hide, and so I did, in the treehouse. Oh no. And Molly just painted this. Does that increase their chances of getting abducted? I kind of feel like it does. Are we going to bring aliens back into it all over again? Really? <gasps> Ooh. And Lila's been promoted to a B-lister. What? <gasps> and of course, Ash would come up here and hang out with uh, little Clem. Call over to see. I can show her my artworks. She's like, look, Grandma, I'm drawing monsters. I already drew, drew two monsters. And this is my new my new bedroom. What do you think? Oh, and then Grandma put her to bed with press-ups. <laughs> But there we go. I really enjoy spending time with you. See you later. She's so cute to her. Like, what? And we're spending our first night in the treehouse, which means the twins, I think, will get the bedrooms in the house going forward. Okay, so it's so final sleeps before birthdays. I checked and Keen on Fires is actually literally about to age up. And Zach actually has like an extra day. I kind of got the feeling that he was a little bit younger. We actually have the same as Zach. We got two days left until aging up, but I like to do my week. Uh, my birthday's on a weekend because then you can like have a little party. So today's gonna be Saturday. There's no school, which means I can have a birthday day for them. A joint triple birthday day. Oh, look at this. Nothing begins the feeling of crushing that final boss level. Whenever Tyler is into gaming, he's at one with the universe. Is it safe to say he likes video gaming? You're literally the opposite. This is good though. They've been so similar. Now they're getting these complete opposite interests. So Tyler likes video gaming. And um, today, Molly is gonna be baking the cakes for the birthday. And we're gonna ask Clem yeah. if she wants to help. Oh, so why don't you clean up all of the kitchen and I will get ready for some baking because of course we want Clem to end up being into baking because she has to as part of the challenge and it makes total sense that maybe Molly would be the one to influence her in this way especially since Molly is very nurturing she's trying to help Clem she knows she's naughty she knows she's acting up and she wants to try and you know guide her in a better direction so let's make a cake I'm not doing the three cake disaster that we did last time so instead we will just be doing one cake that we'll all be sharing <gasps> and look at the Zach has texted Kami. I like playing on the playground with you. Do you like it too? Yeah, so cute. Okay, so Clem is meant to be helping in the kitchen. I can't see much helping going on. Instead, it's poor Molly left washing all the dishes. And also Ty is doing the dishes too. Clem, you're meant to be getting into this baking malarkey, please. Oh, and also telling Ty how awesome candy is as well. Oh, and Tyler has a scout badge to collect. What a baby. Okay, come and collect your badge for sociability badge. And also, you've got one for civic responsibility. What a clever googie. Do you have any to collect? Oh, you've got the same too. Oh, you clever chickens. Clem has no badges to collect. Oh. Tyler's a unicorn skull. What? That's so freaking cool. <gasps> You're both little unicorn skulls. Clever chickens. I love it. And ooh, smart Molly put the cake in the fridge. So I've got Clem to get it out. Please don't eat it, Clem. <laughs> Just place it somewhere in the world, okay? Where are you putting it? In the middle of the table. Okay, that makes perfect sense. And I'm going to add some birthday candles for it. I do kind of feel like she'd take a slice. But I have such a nightmare with cakes that actually work that I am just going to take this as a win. And we'll invite round the Parijits for the birthday, as well as all the usual suspects. Ty met a friend at school, Jill. <gasps> Ty hates Keen on Fires. Ah, uh, look at this. So I will invite round Ty's friend Jill as well. And I'm trying to remember what order everyone was born in. I think it was the order they're appearing down here. I think it was Ty, then Kami. And then Clem. So we've got um, Di, Ty Di River. Vernon is here as well. We've got Molly, who is Ty's wife. Ash is here. We've got Celia as well. We've got rain. Lots of rain. And out here, Ty and Kami try and a bunch to like talk to Zuck. I think they want to convince him to leave the Parijits. Meanwhile, I'm gonna get these guys to plan their next prank, which is, I feel like they're gonna blame like the geeks at school for not getting the, buying the test answers. So they're gonna plan to stuff them all into a locker. Very mean behavior. <gasps> and Zuck and Kami have a sentiment together now. Oh my gosh, that was an evil laugh, Clem. Jeez. 
And Ty is ill on his birthday, the poor baby. You guys are meant to go to Scouts in an hour. However, I feel like it's pretty short. Yeah, it's only till four. Okay, that's fine. I also don't think they're gonna have much luck convincing Zach to leave the Pearl Egypts because he's still completely like in awe of uh, Clem. Do they quit the Scouts when they become teenagers? I don't know. I'm gonna try and age them up before Scouts. So let's go ahead and do Ty first. So let's let Ty try and blow out the candles. I'm gonna have to like rush to make sure no one takes a slice and like put the candles immediately back on. But Ty, you're gonna go first. So go ahead and blow out your birthday candles. I, it's so warm in this room. I'm actually struggling to hold the mouse. It's totally gross. Oh, okay, Ty disappeared. Worrying, very worrying. But okay, Tyler has aged up. He is outgoing. I'm gonna give myself three rolls for what his traits are. Slob which I guess would be... That is inherited from someone, maybe Ash. Musa, boost their skills when they're inspired. Or oh, genius. Hmm. That's actually a toughie. I feel like Musa or genius work. We know that Ty is super smart. It's already outgoing. I think I'm gonna go Musa because I so rarely get Musa sims. So let's go for that. And then... I don't know what he's like... I, how I want to focus him yet. It'd be kind of cool to have another extreme sports enthusiast because we never got to complete with Kiyoshi. Archaeological scholar would be pretty cool too. Okay, I'm going to see what you guys think in the comments. I'm going to give him that as a holding one for now though. I'm going to immediately put on some candles before anyone gets a chance to eat yeah. the cake. Yeah. Quick, get the candles on, go, go, go. There we go. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. Next up is going to be Kami. I'm going to do them all in cast after this because I mean... Ty is aged up with a thick head of blonde hair, which we no one saw coming. So next is going to be little Kami. There you go, chicken, blowing out your candles as well. Everyone do a little cheer. Okay, and then quick, 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 candles back on. Okay, Kami, goofball, quite a playful child, although then didn't like video games, so maybe not. We've got outgoing, we've got loner. Or we've got Geek. Okay, we know it can't be Geek because of the video gaming. So it's either Outgoing or Loner. I kind of do get some Loner energy from her. Especially because she had a tough time at school. So maybe just wants to stay away from people. And just likes people really close to her. And then for Aspiration, I don't know. I don't really know how to go with that Kami. Maybe the Archaeological Scholar would work better for her. Again, Holden, but I want to know what you guys think in the comments. So there we go. And then quick, 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 because we've got our final little googie to go ahead and blow out the candles. Also, our next heir ready to blow out the candles, of course, which is little Clem. So it's your goal. Let's go ahead and blow out the candles for the next step in our air of the Not So Very Challenge. Oh, you're going to have to blow a little bit more than that. There you go. There you go. Um, for her traits, where do they go? Where do they go with the age of? I don't know. But for her traits, I'm going to have to check here. So evil self-assured and glutton and the aspiration is going to be public enemy so we've already got glutton i think i'm gonna go self-assured and save evil for last because evil's kind of heavy can you be evil so young i mean you can but i want to save that for adult and then we need to go for public enemy famous criminal so there we go clem has aged up as well so now let's head into Cass and check them all out Oh, this is Jill, by the way. Oh, and Clem hates Jill, who is Ty's new friend. Interesting. Okay, so let's start with Tyler. Because that head of hair is something else, Ty. It's something else. And why has it made this teenager look like a full grow... A full should have paid his taxes for the last 30 years kind of vibe? I do not know. Gonna try and make him look a little bit more Zackish. I actually like Joshua's skin on when he gets a bit older, but I think it's a bit much for a teenager. So there he is with the face, uh, the skin details. I did do God skin. And he had like a shorter bun bun as a kid, but maybe it grows out a little bit while he's a teenager. I'm not gonna put like facial hair or anything on him yet. Oh, did he have this hair? Yeah, he had that hair. So look, it's kind of gone from this length to like a little longer. I'm not gonna put any facial hair on him because he's only a teenager for now. And he was super trendy as a kid. One thing I've noticed that he's literally got no shoulders though. So I don't know widen out his shoulders a bit. Honestly, I feel like The Sims, when it comes to frames, just it always just the weirdest frames. So I'm giving him a bit more like shoulder width. It's also, I'm not gonna lie, like why does it do like pregnant belly? I get this on my, my girl sims all the time as well. And annoyingly, I actually don't have anything as trendy as the outfit he had on as a kid, which is super annoying. Although I like this little shirt with the top inside kind of combo sort of vibes for him. So we've got Tyler. 
And then Kami, what hair has it put on her? I literally don't even, I mean, that's one of the clay hairs, but I kind of like the colors. I kind of like those fiery colors. I see so much Molly in Kami. Wow. What hair did you have as a child? What can we advance you up to as an adult? I'm trying hairs and I'm like, I've got to do a face first. I've just got to. And I've got to make sure we've got her like cute little freckles as well. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Okay, so I've just put like some lip texture on it, which I realized I forgot to put on tie. So I will put it back on. And I'm gonna put like the little eye flex on too, which I also forgot to put on Ty. There we go. Yeah, I'm not gonna put like um, makeup other than like the blush has um, freckles in it. Cause I want them to look like like teenagers as much as I can, you know? And I feel like Kami would dress quite sensibly. Obviously is like very much on like the top of a class at school. Even if it means people are mean to her for it, she still obviously cares a lot about being the best student. That goes cute together. Is there a different color for the top? Oh, that's so cute. I love her. Yeah, so she's got quite like sweet, soft, sensible head vibes. I don't think I've got like the private school outfit for them as teenagers. Oh, these are the new clothes that came with the pack, by the way. So this top I've seen as a separate. It looks really cute. So I won't give them like a separate school uniform, but there is Kami. I'm going to give Ty his little eye flex. There we go. And then finally, let's move on to Clem. So to me, Clem looks a lot like Lila. And I need all of these skin details back on. That would be the same one as Kami so that they'd look kind of similar. Or oh, it's kind of tough. I don't know which ones to go for. Cause that's the V one. And then she actually has custom eyelids like so. That's like just with skin details. I don't know whether to arch her eyebrows down a little bit. So she has like a little bit more of a cheeky look. I'm just gonna put the lip texture on her because I think the lips look a bit more real and the same freckles too and then hair is gonna be hard because it's hard to get curly hair as it is and then when you add in red curly hair I really get limited by my choices and I want to go for something different than what we had as a kid because there's this one but even though that's listed as being orange to me it's more blonde I've got this one with it like braided back into two ponytails or like this one where it's more like curly than wavy although it just disappear into her boobs there's some curly wings ones they're a bit more like wave curly than like tight curls but this is the only one that's orange it does look really nice on her to be fair and there is ways to like loosen your curls when you want them looser and then and obviously you can keep them as tight curls when you want to problem as well is a lot of the ones that are curly they only have one color so i can't give her red hair and i keep coming back to this one i've tried on every hair i don't want to give her the same hairs as before i do wish this one was more like she's always been a bit of a darker ginger i'm just gonna dress her because i've tried every hair on 10 times and i can't find one that works with her now we know that she's kind of a mischievous kid i kind of want to start like a new gun where they wear like leather jackets so i might not have her in it just yet the parisians will evolve so for now i think i'm just gonna give her piratey energy i feel like the fire on the trousers kind of represents the fieriness that she is but also orange, which I'm supposed to be keeping an orange dress tone with her. I mean, I don't have to, but I've done it with every generation. I quite like doing it. And here is how she looks for now. I think I'm probably going to change the hair. But this is like the closest I've found that is something different. I think I'm going to have to go on a look for curly hairs though, because I'm not really happy with where it is. Uh, let me just add her eye flex. I think as well over time, I would like to add some piercings maybe. You know me, I love a good piercing. But uh, there we go. Here is Clem, at least for now. And we've also got Kami as well, who just looks so sweet and soft and friendly and lovely and very Molly-esque. And then we've got Tyler as well, who not convinced on the outfit that I've got for him. He kind of looks like he might be going to work, but... Again, I may need to download some CC. I need some help with their aspirations as well. So if you have any ideas, please let me know in the comments below. And we will save playing as a teenager for the next episode because I've literally just spent an hour on trying to get these guys looking right for you. Let me know what you think of all their appearances. If there's any suggestions you have, please go ahead and let me know about them in the comments below. But we are moving forward with Clem. We've got another tray and we've got the aspiration locked in as well. So I can actually start building a little bit more on her charisma and her baking. Now that she is a teenager. Let me know what you guys think of her. I hope you guys like her and I will see you guys in another video. Bye.